What's up everyone? Welcome to the second topic in our tutorial series. Here we'll be installing Atom, which is a simple IDE that allows us to write, and if we install the right plugins, run JavaScript code. So we'll start by showing you how to update Atom if you already have it installed, and then we'll show you how to download and install Atom if you don't already have it uh, installed on your system. Now I should preface this by saying Atom is just one IDE of many out there that will allow you to run and write JavaScript code. If you really don't want to use an IDE like Atom, that's fine. You can actually ignore this and you can just move on to the next section. And that way you can just kind of run things through terminal and a simple text editor. We're going to have to do some terminal commands anyway, so if you want to stick clear of Atom, that is totally fine. But for those of you who are interested, I personally will be using Atom for most of my functionality, so let's get started. Now the first thing we might want to do is actually update Atom itself. So this is what it looks like if I have Atom started up with no project going right now. If I want to just update it, I can simply go to Atom, up to uh, check for update and actually even tells you the version there. So there's no update available, 1.36.0 is the latest version at this time, but depending on when you're watching it, you might have a later version. So just go ahead and update it that way. If you don't already have this, then you can simply open a browser, go for download Atom, select this first link here, atom.io, and then go to select your correct platform. For me, it also comes up as Mac OS, and I think it should automatically select your system. Then go ahead and click download, open up the file, and run through the installation wizard once you are done. Now, as I said before, you really don't have to use Atom if you don't want. I will be using Atom to write most of my code, so um, if you do use a different text editor, then things will look a little different. I will show you in a couple of tutorials how to... Um, create an npm project or node.js project and run things run through things just using node.js and terminal that's going to be an important skill to have as we'll need that for some of the packages we'll install anyway so like i said if you don't want to do this that's fine you can stick with just terminal and a basic text editor however this next section is going to be configuring atom so if you don't want to use atom just skip over it and move on to the node.js part okay so thanks for watching we'll see you guys in that next one